Hey guys, as usual, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, uh, I would like to make uh, a review. Uh, I would like to observe um, a recently new service, which is called UKIT. So actually, this service is able to create a website for any task without any problems. Um, for example, an online store of individual entrepreneur, a business card of a photographer or aspiring designer, or even if you uh, would like uh, to create a landing page or even a website just to represent yourself, why not? So actually, that's why I would like to show you this service uh, to show you how it works. Uh, as usual, all the useful links will Will be in the description and i am waiting for your comments i'm waiting for your likes and let's get on to our work just directly right now so um, first of all let's uh i would say analyze uh what is uk so i would say that this is a website builder uh which is used to launch and manage small businesses websites and other types of projects for personal and commercial use so the system has gained worldwide popularity due to its amazing simplicity that does not compromise with quality and professional web design approach. So this is an indispensable solution for new buys and web design pros willing to establish professional web presence for their businesses. So this website builder will work great for all representatives of small, medium businesses, for novices uh, who just want to start their career at this sphere, you have to create actually uh, a web page. You have a website, I mean, a landing page. So this is really nice uh, opportunity just to start your journey with the UK, of course. And, um, um, I can say that you don't need to uh, master programming basics to work with UK because this system is very simple, it's very flexible and it completes around, I would say, 60-70% hmm, of work at its own. So there are no layout design, style charts, uh, Photoshop and daily issues most web developers encounter here. So frequent updates make the service more convenient and functional. Um, so um, first of all, you need uh, to do is to register an account. Yep, you can do this if you have, for example, your social account with the help of Facebook, Google, uh, LinkedIn, of course, if you have already one. And the second registration option is to fill out uh, the sign-up form providing your email, password and info, of course. Um, of course, after register and verificate it, uh, your account in UK, you have the opportunity to work with this platform. Of course, uh, it has many uh, templates and first of all, you have right here, for example, if you are searching for a, a specific uh, type of template, you can search it directly right here in the categories. Or, uh, as I am doing, as always, in my video this episode, because I would want to show you all, all of the templates, how it looks like, actually, uh, you search for just directly right here. And let's check this one, the preview with this puppy, I would say, yeah. So here we have the opportunity just to observe how this template is built, actually how many sections uh, are there, how many pages, yep. So here have we a logo, a title, a slogan, yep, this is the main I would say, section uh, or face section, yep. Here we have actually a menu. Uh, the next one we have actually the other section uh, about we have yep uh, okay so it's really nice and uh, to be honest I adore the service actually my lovely part of which uh, each video episode is to work with each image uh, with the visual content because visual content this is the most important part because you need to make your website or landing page so tasty that your visitor should be your potential client of course and here we have many um i would say um adaptive designs yep so this is the desk version this is like in horizontal way in vertical way yep uh, of course, uh, for the tablet, how it looks like, and you can scroll down just to check off all the things. Yeah, 
and just right here for the smartphone how it looks like and basically uh so this service it proves you that you can work with your well and you need to have any coding skills and other skills so i will choose this design uh of course you need to put a domain name but you can do this after uh your um just redesigning of this template. Yeah, we can do this after, of course. Actually, there is a classic structure of a site, I would say. Yeah, but right now we have actually the editor. This is drag and drop editor, and you can work with this editor in intuitive ways. It means that you don't need to know some rules how you need to work with this editor. The only thing is you just need, uh, first of all, is practice and play around with all these buttons and categories and widgets. So um, uh, let's start from a classic structure of uh, the main, uh, I would say, website. So um, I would say that the aim of uh, a landing page or a website is to show a services or goods uh, which you need to represent right here. Yeah. And getting to the site, first of all, uh, we see the menu, as you see right here. We see a logo, uh, we see a title, yep, and actually this is important, of course. Uh, the next one, this is the first screen. It may be a CDA button or not. CDA is call to action button for those who don't know what is it. Uh, so actually, and after the sections, they should be in chronological way uh, and they uh, actually they should tell a story uh, or they may be um, a section like about what you would like to represent. So it depends on, to be honest, for me, it's very difficult to uh, give you a structure yeah, uh, of a landing page or uh, a website because it depends on the product, what do you like to represent, if you are a business owner, or if you are uh, an artist or photographer and you need to represent your work, so it depends on, of course, but it should be a main, uh, it should be a section menu and logo, first one, the second one it should be a hero, yep, or I would say a CDA, uh, of course. The next one should be a section about yourself, what or about your services that you provide. And after, it depends on um, actually you need to analyze what you need to do. But uh, we need to talk a little bit about uh, here. Actually, we have cool tools. Uh, this one actually we have four modes, I would say, or kind of yep so design mode yeah what we got right here actually design mode it lets you change your website design by choosing the color scheme for example if you see it right here yep or uh add to the background for a website you can use a simple color palette and upload images on your portfolio or even google maps as a background yeah. so on the next we have right here this is a builder and actually this is like builder mode i would say this is the editor this is drag and drop editor this is the website builder are used as the major website editing methods here so you can add tag blocks image blocks sliders buttons icons and you can structure it you can add content yeah and everything you have right here clicking just to your bottom just uh playing around with all this stuff yep you can simply drag each element and still play around with this one yep like i'm doing right now it depends on of course but you need to i would say analyze it in your head how you see it and play around with all this widget of course um and um, of course we have side pages actually this is a pages mode i can say so basically due to this mode a user can uh, actually complete various actions with website pages add new pages yep remove the existing ones change the order of the pages in the menu add it web page content duplicate fill out meta tags so actually all the elements you add to the web pages can be additionally set up so you can change inner block composition choose visual design options the number of format displayed elements and background you know um next one what we have is 
actually the adaptive side version. So you may play around with, first of all, with the desktop version. And right now we have the desktop version just directly on the screen. The next one, we have the tablet version. And you know, it's getting thinner, yep. Uh, so basically you may play around like here if you would like to, or you may start playing around actually with mobile version. And this is very important nowadays, you know, because we are holding 24 hours to seven uh, our smartphones in our arms. Uh, so it's actually it's important to have uh, the adaptive design for tablet, in tablet and in mobile versions, of course. Um, I can say this is uh, easy to work with uh, the side pages. So actually in the pages mode, clicking directly to the page about, so actually it scrolls you down to this page about, and you may directly work only with this page. You may play around with the content, uh, with the fonts, uh, with the images. For example, clicking directly to this image, yeah. Uh, you can duplicate it, add a link, or even just to delete it, yeah. And if I would like to add the image, yeah. Uh, clicking directly to the builder, yeah, where we have uh, gallery, I can add even a gallery just like here. Yep, I simply uh, add this gallery, and after I need to change the content of the widget. So it depends on if you, uh, if you have the opportunity just to upload your images from your laptop of your product, you can upload them directly right here, or you have the opportunity just to buy them in stock right here. Uh, I can say that all the widgets always should be high quality. It's very important. Um, the, your website should be so tasty, I would say, that your potential visitor should be your potential clients, of course. So, uh, clicking directly into each element, you may delete it. Yeah, we can add only three, uh, say, only three uh, images, yeah. And after you can, we can add, add for example, from the library, you have stock photos you can add, for example, from the social network or just upload from a laptop. Uh, for example, let's find some stock photos. I don't know, it might be abstract. I, I don't know. Okay, let it be one, just right here. Okay. Uh, one. And after you may play around. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, you may play around just to zoom it or not zoom it. Yep. Okay. Um, I would love to change and do add from the library. No. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Simple. So actually, I just downloaded simple three images, but you need to buy it. Uh, buy them actually because they are, I would say, uh, in stock. But you see that it's very simple to work this editor. Uh, I would say that it takes uh, from 10 to uh, 2 hours, I mean from 10 minutes to 2 hours, it depends on the product. Uh, but you will create a really nice uh, website uh, or even a landing page, but you need to maybe uh, a really cool thing for you which i can advise is to uh, is to make a picture of the blocks on the paper yeah with your hand with a pencil how you see how you imagine it in your head and after uh with the, with these actually sections what you actually draw you may uh just make it with the help of the UK on the template where you draw on the paper. You can simply do it right here with the help of this editor. 
So actually, that's all for this video episode. I've tried to prove you that Wicked Service is very interesting, to be honest, to play around with all these widgets, with all this content, yep. And it's, of course, intuitive. You don't need to spend many hours um, and many times just to analyze how it works, all these buttons, yep. And I'm waiting, of course, um, on your personal opinion, what do you think about Wicked? Actually, have you tested it or not? And maybe after my video episode, you will uh, practice with the help of this service. I really do hope that you will create a cool website and you may just uh, put a link and comment on your website, which you created with the help of Wicked. Thank you guys for your attention. See ya in another video episode about Wicked service and bye.